Pandas and NumPy are two of the most popular libraries for data work in Python, but they're built for different tasks. Chris Brule from Maven Analytics here, and in this video, I'll walk you through what each one does and when to use them. So let's go ahead and meet Pandas. Pandas is Python's most widely used library for data analysis and contains functions for accessing, aggregating, joining, and analyzing data. The most commonly used data structure in Pandas is the data frame, which is a tabular data structure that we can consider analogous to SQL tables or Excel worksheets. And just about anything you can do in either SQL or Excel can be done in Pandas. You'll find a lot of overlapping functionality between these tools, and I'm confident that by the end of this course, you're going to find some use cases of pandas which blow SQL and Excel out of the water. But this is a pandas data frame. If you've ever looked at an Excel worksheet or an SQL table, this should look familiar, right? This is a table of data with column headers as well as row numbers on the left. Inside of this data frame are columns of data, each representing different fields of information. And so we have these indices and column titles that make it very easy to work with our data sets here. So how does NumPy play into all of this? NumPy stands for Numerical Python. It's an open source library that is the universal standard for working with numerical data in Python. It forms the foundation of other libraries like Pandas. You'll also see NumPy arrays leveraged by machine learning libraries like Scikit-learn. Pandas data frames are built on top of NumPy arrays and can leverage NumPy functions. So we're going to spend some time learning NumPy because you're going to find that there is a lot of great functionality in NumPy that will augment your ability to work with Pandas data structures. And if we take a look at our data frame again, one thing to point out is that all of the data stored here is stored as a NumPy array. Pandas merely adds wrappers like indices and titles to make working with those arrays much more convenient. So it's really difficult to work with Pandas without knowing some NumPy. If you're looking for more ways to level up your Python skills, make sure to check out our self-paced courses, guided projects, and create your personalized learning plan for free at Maven Analytics. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more data content just like this. We'll see you in the next one.